The overall goal of this procedure is to describe the electromyographic fatigue threshold which demarcates between non-fatiguing and fatiguing exercise workloads. This is accomplished by first preparing the participant's leg for the placement of the EMG electrodes. The second step is to place the EMG electrodes on the desired superficial quadriceps femoris muscles. Next, the EMG signal is checked to determine the signal-to-noise ratio and improve electrode placement if necessary. The final step is to have the participant perform an incremental cycle ergometry test to voluntary exhaustion. Ultimately, the EMG fatigue threshold mathematical model is used to estimate the power output at which, theoretically, the participant can cycle indefinitely without an increase in EMG amplitude. The main advantage of this technique over existing methods is that we use surface EMG in a single incremental exercise test. This method can provide insight into identifying the highest exercise intensity that demarcates between non-fatiguing and fatiguing exercise. Demonstrating the procedure will be Charlie Anderson and Jacob Blackmer, second year students in the Doctorate in Physical Therapy program. Begin by preparing the participant's leg and accurately locating the vastus lateralis muscle as described in the accompanying text protocol. Then, place gel-coated silver-silver chloride electrodes over the vastus lateralis without removing the adhesive shield. Mark the location where the gel portion of the electrode makes contact with the muscle and ensure the interelectrode distance.